Hey guys, welcome to Total Body Stretch and Strength. We're going to get started with a big breath in and exhale. Another big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Relax your head, neck, shoulders and just hang. We're going to take another breath in. And then as we exhale, we're going to slowly stack the spine back up to standing. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Walk those hands out. And I'm just going to turn here so you can see from the side. And we're going to do an upward facing dog. So knees can come down if you need to for modified. Otherwise, drop the hips, lift the chest. Feel that stretch through the front of your body. Lift the hips up, back to plank, and then push back to downward dog, sinking your hips to your heels. Lift the hips up, pull the navel in, sink deeper into the stretch. Another big breath in. Exhale, push back a little deeper. We're going to hold this stretch for a couple extra seconds here. Just get ourselves nice and loosened up and ready for the workout. Inhale, walk the hands forward, back to plank. Hips are neutral, heads in line with the spine. We're going to drop those hips down. Again, upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Bring your knees down, sit back in child's pose, extending hips to heels. Walk those fingertips forward. Relax the head on the mat. Another big breath in. Exhale, come forward. We're going to be doing some push-ups. Between each push-up, we're going to be sitting back in a child's pose. These are two by two push-ups, nice and slow. So let's take the hands wide. You can have your knees under your hips. You can drop your hips forward or you can come all the way up to your toes. Here we go. Down two, up two, sit back. Ah, nice little breather between each push up. Come forward, down two, up two, sit back. Working that chest, back and shoulders. Feels so nice to get a break between each push up. Inhale, exhale, make sure you're using your breath. Inhale as you come forward. Inhale down, exhale up, knees down, sit back. Inhale, come forward, down two, up two, sit back. And again, one more time, down two, up two, sit back. We're going to get ready to grab the weights. So pick up some weights. You want threes or fives, maybe sevens, depending on what else you've done this week. Shoulders up, back and down. Again, inhale, exhale, up, back and down. One more time, up, back and down. Now we're going to take the elbows. We're going to bend them to 90 degrees. And we're going to do up, flip over and again down and in up flip over down and in so it's one two three four five and six moves up flip over down down and in up flip over two times down and in up flip press two and down and in again up flip one two down down and in up flip one whoo down and in all right shoulders up back and down Breathe. All right, so we're going to get ready to go down to our chest. Put the weights to the side. Actually take one weight, put it between your feet, right in the crook of your sneaker. 
so you can grab onto that weight. Get a good grip on it. And we're gonna swivel our hips down, come all the way down to your chest. If the weight is too much, you can always put it down. We're gonna tap the ground with that weight. And what we're gonna be doing is a hamstring curl with a row with your arms. So we're gonna bring those arms up, exhale, curl, inhale, down and relax. Exhale, up and curl, pull those heels toward the butt. And you wanna keep your core tight this whole time, pulling those elbows down toward the ribs. Extend and contract. So think about everything on the back of the body right now. Glutes, hamstrings, core, and because we're holding that weight, our inner thighs are getting a little more work done as well. So this is why we call this total body. The moves that we're doing, they're mild, but yet there's a lot going on. So we're hitting all the muscle groups. Inhale, exhale, lift. And let's try to take it one step further this time up. Squeeze, hold. It burns, it's burning, it's burning. And arms are gonna fly, legs are gonna go straight. Remember, you can drop that weight if you need to. Fly, superheroes fly. Whew. Drop that weight, sit back. We're gonna go right into a cat stretch. To get Curl the spine up, tuck the belly button in. We wanna get all that tension out from around the spine. Now we're gonna go into cow. Head up, and now back to cat. Tuck the pelvis under, and back to cow. Tilt the pelvis forward. So using those muscles in the front of the core to stretch the back, Inhale, head comes up. Exhale, arch back to cat, chin to the chest. You wanna actually feel yourself curling your hips forward and back. Release all that tension from your lower spine. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Perfect. We have glute raises, so we're gonna take a weight, bring it behind your left knee, squeeze that heel in toward the butt. We're gonna get ready to lift and flex the foot. We're gonna lift that heel up. Focus here is on that butt cheek. So you wanna make sure your hip, hips are flat, your knee and your heel are in line. We're gonna pulse to the ceiling, little footprints. So we come up four, Three, two, one, and down. Again, up four, three, two, one, and tap the mat. Four, three, two, one, and release. Up we go, squeeze that butt cheek. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Good old school move. You're gonna take that weight out, bring it around to the other side. Open the knee, place that weight behind the knee, squeeze it in, hands under shoulders. What we do on one side, we must do on the other. And your head should just be gazing out somewhere over the top of your mat. And up we go, four, three, two, one, and tap. Four, three, two, one, and tap. Up four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, one. So these moves we're doing today, all basic moves, but they get the job done. You guys are getting so much done in this short little 12 minutes that we're here for. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every one of you.
and squeeze it. Come on, we're almost done, guys. Four, three, two, one. And release that weight. Going to get ready to come up to our feet. You need your other weight, so find your other weight. Breathe, shoulders up, back and down. Get your posture on, heels under hips. We're going to be doing a back kick fly. So hinge at the hip, shoulders back. You're going to be taking that left foot behind you. As we fly, we reach that foot back into a back kick. So doing a lot at one time here. What are we working? The back of the body. But of course your core is tight the whole time. Support your balance. Pick a point and focus on it. That'll help you balance. This is four, three, two, and one. All right, now shake it out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Except this time, we're gonna be doing a row instead of a fly. Row with a back kick. Hinge at the hip. Your right leg's gonna kick back, row, and back kick. Squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. Slam the door with that heel. You got it. Remember, stay focused. Balance. Control. This is it, guys. Our last move of the day. And then you're done. You got so much work done. Three, two, and one. You guys rock. Like, subscribe, comments, feedback. Thanks for fitting it in.